Well, I got the rooftop tent from Smitty Built in the garage. That's excuse my messy garage, but let's just take a look at the box. I know it got wet. I got a little hole down here. I got a little hose down here. I know it's dark in here, but it's like a hole there. Hole there. All the straps have been pretty much off the box except for two. But I'm going to cut the straps and uh, take the cardboard off and see if we have an intact tent. Okay, the box that it's in is really thick. We got double flaps here. So uh, it is protected, and then it's got foam all the way around it, bubble wrap, so far this end looks intact. Okay, I got it opened up. This garage is pretty tight, so. Initial investigation. Everything seems to be intact. No holes, no rips. Nice cushion pad here. Let's pull this stuff out of here. Shoe bag. Smells new. There's our uh, mounting racks. There's our cover. And of course, the ladder. It's light, too. I know this video ain't that good pulling the stuff out here, but when it's dark. You know, got a new toy. We gotta get it open just as soon as we can. And I've got everything out of here now. Knock stuff over. This is not the XL, but you know what? It's going to be plenty big for two people, as long as you love each other. Because you're going to be sleeping pretty close. I'd say that's full-size bed. A little bit longer, though. So you can two people up in there, and then the dog can sleep down on the end. But yeah, uh, that's gonna work. It this material is really heavy. I noticed on the box it said a new thicker floor. So yeah, I'm excited. That's gonna look good up on the the Titan. Hopefully this rain will get out of here so I get some better pictures and video of it. Cause I said my garage is so small and I've got it so full of stuff. That, you know, I really can't show y'all a whole lot of it. So, more video to come. As you can see, I've got the rails mounted to the bottom of the tent. And this was not a hard job at all. And instead of just showing you step by step, I thought I'd just do it. And then I'd just kind of tell you how I did it. And the first thing you do is you hopefully it's not too dark you unstrap these straps there's two on each side and then there's two on the front and just unstrap them so you, you get some looseness in between here and then you get your boats instructions tell you exactly what boats you need and everything really easy and there's four of them that's going to slide in the rails here but you take the bolt and you slide 
your hand in between the mattress and this panel in there. I said it's loose enough that you can go all the way down in there. Stick the bolt through this hole. You take your end caps off these rails. And then you slide the nut in this groove. And uh, I just used another bolt to kind of hold it to keep it from sliding all the way down. And then as I had my hand in here, I located the nut. And then I worked the, the bolt until it got threaded and, you know, got my ranch hinch. Slid back in between here, in between the mattress and the bottom floor, and I tightened tightened it up. I didn't tighten it all the way up until I got the other one in. But I did all four like that. And you, you don't have to open the tent up. You don't have to have somebody else help you hold anything. This You can do this by yourself. You just slide your hand in there and you have access to it. Not a problem at all. And then I just flipped the whole tent over and did the same thing on the other end. So it's really simple. I did go ahead and use some blue Loctite on my bolts because I don't want those bad boys loosening up on me. And even with using the Loctite, every now and then I'll still check them and make sure they're, they're snug. You don't want to over tighten them. Uh, on the other side, let me just kind of bend this over. You can see where the ladder mounts go. Four bolts, nuts, four, uh, actually eight washers. And I haven't mounted the ladder yet because I didn't want the weight on there before I get it lifted up on my truck. And this is the same way, just unzip, unzip the door and reach your hand up through there. And you can access those holes and, you know, put your nuts on there and tighten it up. Easy peasy. You know, you don't need no help. You can do it all by yourself. One man job. And, I mean, it was just really easy. This tent is the regular Overlander. It's not the big one. And uh, I've been moving it around by myself. And I thought I was going to take the mattress out. To lift it up on the truck but I don't think it's going to matter uh, for this particular tent I don't think it adds enough weight that for me uh, it's going to be too heavy you know uh, I thought I was going to put this cover on it but that cover is pretty heavy so I'm just going to leave it off until I get it mounted but uh, I'll lay a piece of cardboard down over my tailgate because I'm going to do the I'm going to flip it over onto the tailgate and it'll be upside down. The rails will be up to the top. And then I'll flip it from the tailgate up onto my rack. Then the rails will be down like they're supposed to be. And it'll be facing the way I want it to flip out. Uh, on this tent, and I didn't realize it, but there's actually a door on each side. The passenger side, which is where I'm going to have it open to, has a door. And the other side also has a door if you want it, you know, to use that as a door. Uh, I guess if you wanted to mount it to where it flipped out on driver's side, you just spin it around. But I thought it was cool that there is actually two doors to the tent. Uh, but more about that after I get it mounted. I just want to let y'all know that, you know, if one person can get these rails mounted, it's not a problem at all. Okay. I'm going to lay a piece of cardboard out there on the wet driveway. So we're going to try to get this up on that roof. We're just going to walk it out a little bit. Try to flip it up on the tailgate.
I didn't know if I was going to have to move my shower that's on that side or not, but it looks like it's going to fill up just fine. It's like that. So we're going to go give it a good grunt and see what happens. I'm thinking I want to leave it toward the back. I have to have room to mount my plates here on this side of this. What I'm thinking about this is I want to keep that tent mounted all the way to the back because I've seen a lot of people mounting too close to the cab and they can't use their awnings over their windows. And I'd like to use all my awnings. And I was thinking the area in between the cab and the tent, I might actually be able to set like a cooler right there and I would be able to reach it through the window, you know, just reach through the window and get a Coke or water or whatever I wanted out of the cooler without actually having to get out of the tent. So I think that's going to be my game plan. Uh, I'm going to throw a couple mounts on there and I'm going to go ahead and drive into the backyard. That way I can kind of set that thing up, open it up, and make sure I can use that window. Because if I can't use that window, then I'll probably go ahead and slide it all the way to the front. So let me stop this, get moved into the backyard, and then I'll start all over again. Well, I got the tent somewhat mounted. I only put two mounts on there until I get it positioned exactly where I want it. She looks a lot bigger up there, don't she? I'm going to put the flaps on the windows up. Load these corners down. But I'm pretty sure I got plenty of room that I'll be able to open that flap, which is what I wanted to do. So I'm fixing to uh, put those rods in. You just stick one end in this hole that's right there and then the hook in goes in this eye so it's no big deal There's all kinds of videos online about it but yeah it's gonna work got the ladder mounted little porch I had to bend my knees just a little bit. It's almost, I'd say, right at six foot tall here. Okay, so I'm going to have to move my shower tube because I can't use the window post or poles to keep my rain fly up. So I'm fixing to go get a wrench and I can mount that underneath or to the side. So, no biggie. 
So I'm gonna work on that now. But it's coming together. And plenty of room to use the poles there. In fact, I could scoot it up if I wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna have a little platform here that I can set a cooler and access it through this window. So that's gonna be great. I'm gonna move that tube now. Okay, the rain fly has these buckles. They're not done up when you get the tent, so you gotta buckle them up if you're gonna use the rain fly. So I'm doing that now. I'm back again. I've got the tent set up as I showed you earlier. I had to reposition my uh, solar shower. I also had to reposition one of my shovels and I've got all that done and I said the tent is set up um, and I was going to show you the inside. I'm sitting in the inside right now. I don't have the windows open. Looks like rain's blowing back in so I'm probably going to go ahead and get this thing folded up before it gets here. But I want to show you what it's like in here so bear with me a minute. All right, so here's the light strip that came with the tent. It's pretty, really bright. It lights the whole tent up really well. Right now, I just have a battery pack plugged into the light to make it work. And you know, I can turn the battery pack on and off and it'll turn the light on and off. And that pocket hanging right there, I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. So the, that works good and that battery pack will last for hours, so. Uh, It'll probably get you through a night or two, and then you just recharge it and use it for the next night. Uh, that is a, I don't know if you can see it, but that is a full door with the awning coming over that end too. These are just windows on this side, but they do completely open the inner to keep the water out. And then, of course, the outside is going to be your uh, screen. And this stuff feels, kind of has a rubber feel to it. So it feels really waterproof. And of course, there's your screen and your little window awning out there. And like I said, that's one reason I positioned this tent all the way to the back because I did want to be able to use all the awnings over the windows. And of course, you have your uh, windows up on the roof where you can stargaze. Two of those. You got little air vents here. I should have popped them out from the outside. But there's a little bit of a... You'll see daylight. So Now these, I, I just now put these little bungee things on here. They came with four. And because I'm going to get ready to fold this tin up, I put them on. And that's to pull the sides of the tin in when you're folding it up. It makes it a little bit easier to fold up a little neater uh, down here that is the shoe bag that came with the tent you can hang it on ladder you can hang it underneath the front edge or porch edge on some hooks that's out there uh, this bag are the rest of the cables to where you can hang this light i mean hook this light up to a 12 volt plug say i have one in the bed of my truck so if i wanted to utilize that i could run these extension cords from the light down to my truck bed and, and use that for power or you could use it, you know, run it to the cab of your vehicle. Uh, this will be my actual use, usable door, the one that uh, opens to the passenger side. There's a pocket over here. In fact, there's two pockets on this side. 
and there's two pockets on that side uh, the cushion it seems plenty durable we'll see how it turns out uh, the ladder's nice and sturdy but yeah I think I'm really gonna like this you know you, you get a pretty good view even with everything on it you know the awning and everything up and I said this is it feels like it's gonna be really waterproof it's almost a rubbery feel and of course right now with all the rain we've been getting it's quite humid so it's kind of hot up here but I've got all the windows closed other than the front door but I just want to turn the light on let you see how that worked and give you an idea what the tent was like and for two people there's plenty of room I can lay down light in which I've got all my room at my head I've got two or three two feet maybe on the on my head side you know my head was about right here so the dog could sleep up there in the corner I guess that's pretty much it for in here all the zippers seem really well made the seams seem to be pretty good uh, it was just a breeze to put up here. Uh, it's really solid. The rack I built supports, it's more than just two bars. It actually runs underneath the tent a few times, so it's got extra support, but it's solid. So it turned out really well, I'm pleased. on these little rods that hold the awnings out to put them up for me it was easier to put the hook in the eye and then to come down and bend them a little bit and shove them in the hole that seemed to work best for me i, I just thought i'd tell you all that but I'm fixing to take it down because we have rain moving in and I think we're going to have rain for the next two days and I don't want to leave it up right now in a bunch of rain. I know it says you need to wet it down and let it dry a couple times to cure the fabric, but I'll do that when it's pretty and I can control the water. But it's pretty sweet. I've got plenty of room. You could pull a couple chairs up against the truck there and sit. But I'm going to get busy pulling it down before it starts raining on me. Well, I guess if there was one thing that I would complain about on this tent, it would be these buckles. They work. But I have a lot of problems using my fingers, awkwardness, and big buckles would be better for me. Other than that, it came together pretty good. It's up there when I tighten the straps down. This folded up, but it's too late to put it back down without undoing the straps, which I'll probably do, but I got the strap twisted as you can see so I need to untwist those and redo it and get this underneath there so I'll do that later but for now it's protected from the rain shovels are on my hot water shower is over there ready to be used this I got my containers where I haul my camping stuff and then my space there is for my chair, camping chairs and stuff like that. So, it's ready to go.